David Chow here, co-creator of NextLevelGuitar.com. Uh, thank you for joining us today and welcome to part three of our continuing series on lead guitar, improvisation, uh, learning how to construct and create melodic solos and creating melodic motifs and how to kind of tie it all together. And we've been going over tons of different devices and principles. And we, uh, in the last lesson, we learned about some arpeggios that you could use over our progression. In the first lesson, we learned about how to, a couple of scale shapes that we're going to be playing and use those as the building blocks and how to start creating melodic ideas. We're using nuance. We're using space and breath in between our licks. We're also using the concept of repeating your licks. So very important to keep repeating and varying them and creating a theme in your solos. More about uh, using the Lydian mode uh, over these changes and playing over each chord independently, treating each one as a separate event. And uh, we're going to throw in some more movie trivia because I like to keep these lessons light and uh, try to make them fun for you. So the jam track we're playing over is just a simple two chord change. Just a C major 7, 2, and A minor chord. That's it. So be sure, and um, I created this jam track in GarageBand. Uh, if you have a looper pedal, be sure and lay this down. If you don't have a looper pedal, I strongly urge you get one. Um, something like this is a great pedal. This is the Boss Loop Station RC3. This is the newer one they came out with. I think the older one was the RC2. Um, the Red Boss Looper pedal is great. The Digitech Looper pedal, Jam Man, and their other various pedals, they're great too. Gotta, gotta have jam tracks. You gotta use them to work on your, your lead guitar work. You need that full band playing behind you with that uh, consistent uh, drum beat or that metronome, that time to work on the rhythm in your licks and your timing and when you're popping them in there and when you're letting it breathe. I, I can't say that enough. If you don't have jam tracks, I'll also put some links below to some of my jam tracks that I created. You can check those out too, but um, they're an invaluable tool um, to hone your skills and keep refining your art. So early on in lesson one, I talked about the scale shapes we were using in, in, uh, in this lesson and we're playing uh, over the C major 7th chord and we're using C Lydian, the Lydian mode. Now in the beginning I said I'm not going to throw any theory at you, I just want you to get playing and having fun. Now's the time I think where I can tell you where that's coming from because then that's going to open up the whole neck for you. You'll be like, oh my god, really? If you don't know how to convert that to its parent major scale, I'm going to show you right now. You're in for a treat because, because you're going to be able to play over the whole neck, not just those two shapes I showed you, right? And you probably already know some of these scales, you just don't know that you know them, right? Why do you ask questions for which you already know the answers? Ooh, what movie was that in? Do you know one of my favorite actors? Who said that in in what movie? Magneto. What a great character in X-Men, huh? Ian McKellen, man, that guy, that guy is such a great actor. He can. He could play any role. He's so good. Why do you ask questions to which you already know the answers? Okay, so um, just real quick, um, and if you want to get into this further, you can certainly go to the website nextlevelguitar.com because i got tons of lessons on modal playing, but it really will open up the fretboard for you. And um, I love the way Lydian mode sounds over major seventh chords. So right off the bat, as soon as you see a major seventh chord, you know you can probably use the Lydian mode. 
mm. um, because and it's very close to a major scale. All you have to think about when you hear these modes that everyone's so terrified of. <laughs> It's not very terrifying. It's uh, I make it real simple. Just think of them as variations of the major scale. You only have to remember a couple of things. Lydian is the fourth mode in any major key. I'll list all the modes out right here for you, okay? And they are always in this order, right? So all I want you to remember is Lydian is fourth. Lydian is the fourth mode in any major key. And we know Lydian works well over major seventh chords because it adds the sharp fourths. So close to a major scale. Major scale is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lydian is one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven. So I like that sharp fourth, like we talked about in one of the lessons. That gives us in this, this that F sharp to G. So we have that B to C that we like, that major seventh, the root. Then we have that F sharp to G, that sharp four. Okay, so we want to play in C Lydian. C Lydian. Okay, I showed you some scale shapes, but I didn't show you how to find them. And I want you to be able to do this on your own. I want you to be able to come up with this on your own so you could solo. The goal is to solo over any track in any key with any mode, right? Not just use the ones that I'm happy to show you today. I want you to be able to figure this out for yourself, right? How do we know, um, uh, how do we know what we can use? What, what does C Lydian scales look like? Very easy. All you have to do is you have to convert back to the parent major scale. Okay, so you have to ask yourself a question. We'll have a little quiz, right? What number mode is Lydian? Lydian is the fourth mode. Remember, we're going to remember that fourth mode. And we want to play C Lydian. So here's the test. What major scale's fourth note is a C? The answer is G, G major. G is the first note in G major, A is the second, B, C. There's our C, G, A, B, C. C, Lydian is the same as G major. So if you know G major scales, or if you know your, how to play major scales, just move the root, root to G uh, and play G major scales, right? It's the same thing as C, Lydian. What's G major? G major is the only, um, the only, major key with one sharp, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, right? What's our C Lydian? C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, same thing. So we're going to be playing G major scales, play G major scales all over the neck, but just focus, you have to emphasize on the C, because we want C Lydian, and that's all it is. That is it. That's all it is, is to the mode, just convert back, know obviously what mode you can use, you got to study the relationship between chords and scales, obviously know what works over what. Here we know C Lydian, convert it back to the parent major scale, G, um, and then emphasize, emphasize the C notes. And that's it. So, right, so let's go over, I'll show you a couple of the G major scales if you're not familiar. There's our C, C Lydian, we want to emphasize those C notes. We're not emphasizing the Gs any anymore because we're playing over a C major scale. So we're playing over a C major seventh chord, right? See, we got that hip sharp four in there, that F sharp. Here's another shape you can play. Right, this is all in C Lydian. it to one of our licks that we were using. Be sure to watch the first two lessons because I talk about a lot of the licks we're going to be using and, and show you those, right? So now you probably know that, right? You probably know major scales and know some major scales. So you're just going to play G major scales emphasizing the C notes. And then you're just going to kind of hunt and peck around till you come up with that melodic idea. So put on the track, right? And just get, just get lost in it. Just get lost in playing. Right? There's that B to C that we like. There's that F sharp. Landing on that A note. Right? Now it's C Lydian. Let's go up a little higher. Just 
track, pr play those shapes and emphasize the C notes and then try to find the A notes when it goes to the A minor chord or, or just go to A minor pentatonic, just to have that as your default. And just really kind of listen for melodic ideas. And then when you find one, make a mental note, put that in your mental Rolodex, right? And that note is the one, that series of notes will be the ones you could keep repeating. Like I was using that. Like I showed you in the first lesson, right? I'm not saying that is a keeper per se. That is what I get, what I call an idea generator. You want to kind of get lost in a track, come up with your melodic ideas. Remember the whole thing is we're trying to build a repeating motif like I did in the intro. And I came up with those, you know, those. A B, C, G, B, C, G, or C, B, G, right all over the neck. You find that lick, find it that you like, those intervals that you like, and then space them out, find them in different places on the neck, right? And we're soloing in that C Lydian. And you could solo with C Lydian over both chords. Just be careful that I have sharp note over the A minor chord, a little bit of a rub. Um, but you could throw it in there in passing for sure. And we're talking about using this as a practice. You know, because when you're playing and you're trying, you're going for a take, you're playing live, you know, you're not really practicing. That's when you want to really get out your good stuff, right? Um, so there comes a time where you got to kind of take all these ideas and this theory and, 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 and just put it aside and just play, right? Just come up, just let yourself go, right? I know a lot of you are probably saying, you're probably saying, oh, that theory stuff, that's just a bunch of, you know, blah, blah. I'd say, blah, 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 blah. But I truly believe it has value because it, it gets you in the door faster. Yes, your ear can take you to all the right notes. Yes, you can figure it out um, uh, by ear eventually, but that takes a while. And this just kind of allows you to open up those doors a little faster and, and get inside and start rooting around. You know what I mean? So um, be sure to tune into the next lesson in this series where we kind of tie everything together. We're talking about things like repeating your licks. Remember, there's so much power and drama into repeating them and varying them and repeat. Down goes Fraser! Down goes Fraser! Use nuance, right? Subtle use of the tremolo arm. Um, um, space out your licks. Let them breathe. Repeat. Vary. Slide around on the neck. Practice over jam tracks, right? And and that's how you really refine your improvisational skills. Okay. Be sure to click on that link below. Get the free video lesson and free ebook. I'll send them to you for free. They're great tools. And uh, click on uh, the subscribe button. And be sure to subscribe to our videos here on our YouTube channel. Okay. I'm David Taub, co-creator, nextlevelguitar.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. Take care. Keep putting those guitars in your hands every day. We'll see you soon. Be sure to tune in to the next part of this series and keep on rocking. So put on the track. Where's my track? Huh?